the EU is preparing a bold strategy to deliver a Brexit agreement next year, even if the current round of talks end with no agreement. Brussels is planning to let chaos reign at the start of the year, believing such a move will trigger a resumption of Brexit trade negotiations with the UK, insiders have claimed. Meanwhile the EU Commission reportedly believes Mr Johnson is stalling for time until the results of the US election on November 3rd, with Eurocrats reasoning if Democrat Joe Biden wins, the PM will be more willing to compromise. A high-ranking EU diplomat familiar with the talks told Funk Median Group, it is now being discussed that in the event that an agreement does not succeed by around 10 November, chaos at the beginning of the year could be accepted for a few weeks and negotiations would then simply continue. This is now being discussed. It is theoretically possible. Mr. Johnson's office has already downplayed the idea of any further talks after December 31. Speaking on Monday, a Downing Street spokesman said, We have been repeatedly clear that any agreement needs to be in place before the end of the transition period, and we will not be back to negotiate further next year. We must provide certainty to our citizens and businesses, and endless prolonged negotiations won't achieve this. There is a widespread belief in both Westminster and Brussels that a deal must be tied up by the end of the month in order for it to be ratified in time by the House of Commons and the European Parliament. Speaking earlier month, Tory MP Daniel Kaczynski told Express.co.uk, if we haven't agreed on something at least this month then there will be calls for the Prime Minister to basically say look, that's it, we're leaving because we need to prepare and we need to tell British industry what changes they need to make. Former Brexit Party MEP Anne Whittacombe, who also served as a minister under former Tory Prime Minister John Major, told Express.co.uk on Monday, I think no deal is the right approach. I think the only way you will persuade the EU to treat us as a completely sovereign state is by breaking this off now, saying we are completely independent from January 1st and you don't come into our waters unless we give you a license, and we will do what we like with our own industries and we are not living by your rules anymore. If we did that and held off then by this time next year we'd have a deal, and it would be a good one. Mr. Johnson had set a deadline of October 15 for a deal to be wrapped up. 